Welcome to Networking Rx, a podcast devoted to helping business professionals like you enhance your networking skills in order to become more proficient giving and receiving quality business referrals and improving the overall quality of your life and the lives of those around you. The Networking Rx podcast is a production of AmSpirit Business Connections, an organization whose mission is to empower business success through networking. So what's your favorite word? I know you need context to that. It's kind of hard to get your head around that. It's, it's, it's almost like asking, hey, what do you know? You're thinking, okay, what's my favorite word? If I ask you what your favorite team was, you would still kind of struggle with that. Uh, if I said your favorite National Football League team or your favorite movie or something like that, you might be able to do a better job with that. But what your favorite word is really kind of abstract. So question I ask is, what's your favorite word in sales? Now, my favorite favorite word in sales is yes, or networking. Yes, I want to connect you. Yes, I'll help you. Yes, yes, yes. That's my favorite word. And I hope it's your favorite word too. When you're out there, when you're cold calling, certainly, when you're working with networking partners, when you're at chamber functions, you want that favorite word to be yes. Some sort of indication, some sort of positive indication that they're willing to help you, they know how they can help you, they're just they're willing to lean into being a great person in your life. It might be a client, it might be a it might be a a, a power partner. Um, it might even just be a prospect. Yeah, I want to learn more. The, you know, yes, yes, yes. That's a favorite word. What's your what's your second favorite word? What's your second favorite word? Think about that for a second. I'll tell you what my second favorite word is, and that's the topic of this whole conversation here. My second favorite word is no. I know that sounds that may sound strange, but no is my second favorite word. And the reason I say that is, I yeah, my favorite word is yes. I want to hear yes. Absolutely want to hear yes. But if I can't hear yes, and it's not going to be yes, I would prefer to hear no. And the reason I say that is, is some of my least favorite words are, let me think about it, maybe, I'm not sure. Because in those situations, you're kind of, that, that can is just keeps getting kicked down the road and keeps getting kicked down the road. And at least if I hear no, there's closure. And if with there's closure, you can just move on. You know, if, if you're cold calling, and I don't advocate cold calling, but I'm just using it as an example. If you're cold calling and somebody says, no, don't call me again, you're done. You can cross that off your list. Unless you are just such a glutton for punishment, you're going to call anyways. Um, and I realize cold calling is almost a thing of the past with caller ID. But when you hear no, it's just that moment of closure where you can say, okay, that didn't, it's as hard as it was to hear, at least you can move on. Certainly, again, you want to get yes. You, you, you want to hear that yes, and that's what we all long for. But when you hear no, there is value to the word no. There's value to having that closure and being able to move on. When you hear maybe, let me think about it, or here's a good one. I'm not quite ready. Call me in two months. I was sharing with somebody today, you know, they were, were talking about franchising and great people. Um, and I shared the story because they had said, hey, listen, you're kind of, you know, we're, we're definitely interested. We're definitely going to go, but we're not sure it's quite right yet. Okay. And I told them, I said, listen, my favorite word is yes. I love to hear yes. Everybody loves to hear yes. But my second favorite word is no. And if you're really not interested, or if somebody's not interested, or if somebody's interested but just really doesn't have the time, I would prefer to hear no. I would prefer to put a bow on it and say, okay, it's just not going to work out right now. And I went on to share with the person that there's another person I've been talking with. And it's like, okay, give me two more months. Give me two more weeks. Can we talk after the holidays? 
um, oh, I meant I meant Valentine's Day, right, or Groundhog's Day, or whatever the next holiday is after the main religious holidays, New Year. Um, and this has gone on and on and on. And it's as a salesperson, as somebody in business, you with somebody saying, "Yeah, call me in two months," you you can't say, "Oh no, that's crap. I'm not calling you." You're you know, if they're not ready, they're not ready. Um, but what I have started to do is to let people know, listen, if, if the answer is no, then just tell me no. Uh, and sometimes I feel like people don't want to say no. It, I call it the Midwest no, you know, where they kind of put you off, you know, get, can you get me more information? I lost your last email. Can you get me more information? You get, you know, more information and then you're following up and you're following up and you're following up. Um, and you and, and they don't want to out come out and say no. They don't want to hurt your feelings. They don't want the repercussions of oh my gosh I I I turned him down. And so they just kind of try to keep hope a little bit alive, right? It's not no. I'm not saying no. It's kind of like that scene in Dumber Dumber where, um, uh, what's his name? God, I love, forgot his name. But anyhow, he says, you know, is it. Are you telling me it's a thousand to one? And she says, no, more like a million to one. And he has this pause like he's, you know, you would think he would be devastated by that. Uh, Jim Carrey. So anyhow, Jim Carrey, you'd think he'd be devastated by that. And he just shouts out, okay, so you're telling me there's a chance. Of course, then she's upset because she's trying to just get rid of him. Um, but, you know, she's kept hope alive, and that's what I feel people are trying, you know, do. I'm just keeping hope alive. Let's be friends. You know, I'm not saying no. And in reality, what you're doing, what what they're doing is wasting my time. And they're wasting their own time. Um, and I know this is, this is a podcast about networking and relationships, uh, and this all kind of fits in because this is kind of a theme that touches on sales, which isn't always just networking. But I just feel like people do themselves more damage by not being honest, by not just saying no. And I don't want to hear no, but I would rather hear no than be strung along and waste time. Um, you know, and when I hear, you know, two years running every couple months, no, I'm not quite ready. Call me later. Call me here. It just puts me in a bind. It just puts me to bind them. If you're truly not interested and don't ever see there being an interest, please just tell me no. I'm okay with that. I'll move on. Um, I, you know, I will. I'll just totally move on. And because there's lots of other prospects out there, but if you're telling me, you know, no, I'm really interested, but I want you to get back to me at a specific point in time. As a good business person, that's what I'm going to do. You've asked me to do it. I'm going to follow up. Um, and, and I guess maybe, maybe shame on me at some point. Um, but what I want to encourage in this particular episode is to give people the permission to say no. And I will do that. I'll say, listen, if you're, if it's truly, if you're truly not interested or you don't think you'll have the time, just go ahead and say no. And I told these people that I was talking to today or emailing with today, um, and they're good people. Oh my gosh, they're good people. Um, would love to hear yes from them. Would love to move forward. But you know, they're you know, it's kind of been, hey, we're moving, we're doing this. Now this is now this is happening. Now this is happening. Oh, here's this other consideration. And I just told them, listen, I love you guys. I think you're great. And if it's yes, I love you guys. I think you're great. And if it's no, I love you just the same. I'll still love you. I'll still refer you. We'll still be friends. Maybe you can refer me other people. But if we get caught up in this tweener zone of it's not yes, but it's not no either, um, we just end up wasting a lot of time. We waste a lot of energy. And even if it's no, not now, you know, and no, what I mean by no, not now, no, not now, call me in two weeks is not what I'm talking about. No, not now. It's going to be a couple years. Let's circle back. Or don't call me. I'll call you. All those things are fine because then I can just I can frame my expectations. I can I can plan for what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it in my CRM as dormant. 
um, or program it for another time or just dripping information or just whatever it is. Just being, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's no, I love you just the same. I'm going to continue to operate just the same and I'm going to refer you and connect you like I always have. But it's that tweener stuff that really that really kills things. So I surmise that probably the most important word in business is no, is getting that no. You might argue, well, getting yes is more important. Yeah, I can see where getting yes can be more important. But that's... My, I guess my point in saying that no is more important than getting to yes is, is that it helps you save a whole lot of time. Because if somebody, if if I go from yeah, maybe, who knows, call me in two months, kind of that tweener zone to a definitive no, I can take that time and I can move on and I can get more yeses. But if I get caught up in continually following up and continually following up with the person who's never really quite ready... It just, it just wastes my time. It just wastes my time. It wastes your time. It wastes their time. So the most important word in business and sales and networking is no. To just know definitively, you know what, I could never, I can't ever see helping you. And I hear, I hear that from time to time. Not a problem. Let's move on. Um, I won't waste your time. I won't waste my time. Um, so get yourself to know. Get to know. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's 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 a great word when it comes to doing business and being out there and networking. Thanks for joining us on the Networking RX podcast. Please put what you've learned into action today and let us know if you have questions, comments, or ideas for future topics. You can email them to us at podcast at amspirit.com. That's A-M-S-P-I-R-I-T dot com. Finally, so you never miss an episode, be sure to subscribe to the Networking Rx podcast through iTunes, Overcast, or however you receive your podcasts. Now get out and network with someone. The Networking Rx podcast is a copyright production of Amspirit Business Connection. All rights reserved.